another video with moi. Today we're going to go through how to make your own revitalizing dry ends and damaged hair serum. So it's supposed to help with like, you know, when you get split ends and dry ends and hair becomes a bit damaged. Um, it's supposed to help like heal that so it's supposed to look all nice and soft at the end and it, I honestly I love it. So the reason why I went looking for a hair serum to help with dry ends and damaged hair was when I came back from Greece last year uh, I had uh, like the length of hair that I'd always wanted so for me I find growing my hair is a very very slow process. It takes me like months and like years takes me a long time just to like grow it like that much. Uh, some of you might relate. It's just like my, it's a it's a very tedious process to grow my hair, and I'm like determined to like grow it out so it was like long and like mermaidy and like just super like oh so pretty. Anyway, so it took me a long time, and by the time I got back from Greece, it was finally, finally, finally at a length that I absolutely loved. I remember my, when I came off the plane, my friends were like, oh my gosh, your hair is so long, and I'm like, oh, thanks for noticing. So I was at a fantastic length. The only thing was that the ends had all become like split and damaged, so it looks like it was like, oh, lovely, and then at the bottom. So it was about here. I think it was about there, yeah. And it was lovely and long, but it just, it wasn't like not like healthy looking hair like hair it was healthy but it wasn't you know what I mean I mean it's like at the ends you can tell it just needs a bit of a cut to cut all those dead ends off so I'd gone to a length and I hadn't cut it I think for two years to, to get it that's how long it took for me to grow out two years just no cutting I was like I'm determined I know I've heard that if you do trim it often it's supposed to help it grow longer and faster but I was like I'm not gonna mess with this I've trimmed my hair in the past and it hasn't been growing very fast so I was like, I'm just going to try it this way and see if it works. And it was a long, it was a long process, so I don't know if it really changed, made much of a difference. But I finally got there, and then my hair, dead, ends of my hair were dead. So I went and, sadly, say goodbye to a lot of it. I got chopped to about here. So it was a lot of it gone. But it did look good, but it was just short again. And I was like, oh, I'm back to square one again. I have to grow it all out again just to get to the same spot. So like, this time... I'm not messing around. I know what to do. So this time I went looking for something that could keep it looking really healthy as I grew it out. I'm also going to trim it as well just to make sure that it's still nice and healthy, won't get dead again. So I looked for some serum to help with the ends and like to make it look a little bit healthier, revitalize it a bit, bring it back to life. That was sort of what I was looking for anyway. And I did, I came, I came across a recipe which I absolutely just love. It is so good. So it's really, really, really easy to make, like probably the most easiest thing you'll ever make in your entire life. It is so simple. Like, you just need a jar, essential oils, pop them in, shake it, and you're done. It's so easy. I love it so much. And I hope you guys love it just as much as I do. Please um, comment below any of your hair, hair stories of you trying to, growing it, trying to grow it out. I like the stories behind that and what you've come across. Have you found any awesome hair serums as well to help in growing your hair? I'd love to hear them. So just comment that below as well. I would love to know. Alrighty, so we're going to get straight into the tutorial. So what you'll need is six drops of lavender essential oil, six drops of rosemary essential oil, four drops of sandalwood essential oil, one tablespoon of jojoba oil, one tablespoon of argan oil, and then for the equipment you're going to need, it's just one ounce bottle with a dropper. So using a funnel, pour in the lavender, rosemary, sandalwood, jojoba and argan oil into the glass bottle with the dropper top. Then place the lid back on and gently shake to blend the oils together. To apply it, simply put a couple of drops onto your palm and use your fingertips to smooth the oil from the middle to the ends of dry or wet hair. You can also use the oil to give yourself a weekly scalp massage. Simply rub a few drops between your fingers and massage into the roots of your hair. Leave on overnight if you have dry hair. And ta-da! I hope it helps your hair as much as it has helped mine. I love it so much and I hope you guys can love it as much as I do. So if you guys want to check out the list of ingredients and why they're chosen, so with their specific quality and property that they bring to the serum why it's so good for your hair feel free to check out my blog below i will link it in the description and i'll just go through exactly what the ingredients are used for how they help your hair how they nourish it 
now they give bring it back to its full health again so if you want to check that out just go to the, my description below and it will be in there again please share in the comments below any stories you may have of dry hair how you've helped to bring it back to life revitalize it bring help rehydrate it again any recipes that you use or natural tips otherwise if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you do want to see more of my videos, come join our fam. We will welcome you. It would be great to have you on board with us. Just subscribe down below in the corner and join our tribe. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a magnificent day. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.